this video will be an in-depth guide about how to make the RSO glitch and all the key concepts behind it. I'll explain everything I know about this glitch and leave timestamps so you can skip to a certain part of the video. Now without further ado, let's begin. So first I'm going to discuss how you should do the glitch, where the checkpoints are. I'll also talk about like shroom timing and things you should do and avoid. So to begin with, I think we should start off with where the first checkpoint is. Now, this first checkpoint is where this crack in the ice is. You have to go past the checkpoint to get a luck count if you're going to land back. But if you're not going to land back, you don't have to do it. But everyone tries to land back because it's much faster and it's much easier than not. Uh, this is where the checkpoint is. So, this dent in the ice on the outer side and this first crack in the iceberg. I'll just show it right here. Uh, I don't know which one is it. It's this one. This one right here. So this is where the first checkpoint is, it lies across here, and goes all the way out... Wait, does it? No, it's this one. Okay, my bad. No. It's this dent in the ice right here, and it goes all the way out to here. This is where the first checkpoint is, you have to pass here if you want to get a lap down. Now, second of all, I want you to imagine that this bottom finish line banner is a rectangle. As you can see, it's a rectangle. Now, what you want to do with the alignment here, is you want to align the middle of turn that's head with the bottom right corner of the rectangle and this will give you a very good alignment so for example like as you can see right here the middle of turn that's head is to the bottom right of the rectangle of the floor finish line banner so this will give you a pretty good alignment and uh, i just want to clarify this glitch is all luck there's like very little skill involved however there are some things you want to avoid like no lap counts and low landbacks but next what you want to do is back up but my controller just I have to reconnect my controller. But yeah, once you've got this alignment, middle of turn to turn with the bottom right of the finish line floor banner, you back up to where the finish line reflection banner, to its back wheel, the finish line reflection banner, and the pole meet. So around this area, this is where you want to back up to. And the reason you want to back up to here and no more or no less is because if you back up less, you run the risk of getting a um, a fast clip. Now that happens when you get less than 5 frames of air time, however there's a probably thing that I'd argue is even more infuriating is getting too much air time on the clip, and I will switch over to Brave over here, and it's uh, yes right here. This is what happens when you get too much air time, now this is Jaren's uh, RSL glitch time. Uh, basically what happens here, so he gets past the first checkpoint. And he backs up, he backs up a fine amount actually, but you want to, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, you want to time your wheelie trim at the exact same time, and that will give you consistent bounces so you can get the uh, get the high clip. Now, what he does here is he trims and then wheelies, he wheelies a little bit too late, so he doesn't do it at the exact same time. And um, you'll see what happens here, he'll get a very low clip right here, and he was barely landed back, as opposed to this front of mine where I'll just demo it. where um yeah i get a much higher clip i back up slightly less and i but i also tie my shroom and wheel at the exact same time as you can see i land about comfortably with a lot of room left so that's what you want to aim for now when timing the second shroom we're just going to analyze this right here uh when timing the second shroom it's sort of rhythm based you can sort of just do it when you react to it however you don't want to shroom too late that's what i did when i got my first ever high clip i shroomed too late and i didn't land back uh, yeah, you just want to use your second shroom roughly within that rhythm. Uh, anything works. However, what you don't want to do is use it too early. What happens if you lose it too early? First of all, you're going to probably not land back far enough. And second of all, you don't want to comfortably hit the checkpoint and turn around. Like, I've seen a lot of people get no lap counts because of that. Now, with the recovery, it's pretty straightforward, honestly. You just, like, if you use the same two shroom timing, you just hold B, you see I just hold break. And I comfortably hit the checkpoint, and you just turn around, and it should lap count. Now, there are multiple instances where this is, uh, you don't have the luxury of landing back, so I'll show you what to do if that happens. And this can also be a part of the left three segment, so I'll just switch scenes over here, and I'll show what happens. Basically, let's just pretend you made a glitch, it either didn't land back, or you were going for a left three attempt. So you fall off. Now, this is where you respawn, you respawn behind the finish line, that's how you know that you got a lap count. Now, the way you want to back up here is you want to hold A and B. First of all, you're going to hold A and B while you're still in the, um, like you can't move, like while Lakitu is picking you up. You hold A and B, and then you just simply release the MT, 
and if you instantly start holding B without holding A, just stop directly on the checkpoint like that. This is a checkpoint that goes like roughly about here, and if you do that every time, you'll stop directly on the checkpoint, so I'll just demo it. So as you see, I'll turn around, hold B, and I'll stop directly on the checkpoint, and that will lap count. So that's what you need to know about the lap 3 and lap 1 lap counts. Now, another thing I forgot to mention is the uh, fast turnaround. This is what I do in BKS. It's a little bit hard to do uh, like consistently, so I'll just show a clip of me doing it instead. So over here, here it is. Um, so this is how it goes. Hit the checkpoint, go for a fast alignment. Uh, as you can see there, I got a little bit too much uh, just analyzing the clip. I uh, backed up, I think I backed up a little bit too much. I backed up perfect amount. I must have wheeled it a little bit late. Um, and I got a little bit too much of air time and a little bit, yeah, too too much of air time while clipping the pole. So I wouldn't have got tried as high up. So I couldn't commit fully to the nosedive. That's just why I do that little sort of wiggle in the air. Now, the way that you do this fast turnaround is you hold the uh, SSMT. Second blue spark to happen, you let go and you perform seven to eight timed hops. Timed hops, they can't be spammed, they must be timed. You see the rhythm that I do? I think I do seven or eight in this video, I can't remember. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think I did eight there. And you complete an MT. Uh, you will run the risk a lot of the time of just completely, uh, like, not taking, like, just missing the timing on it and you'll fall off into the eyes. That's why it's very risky and people don't do it in glitch runs. Alright, now on to... I think I should go into the lap 3 glitch now. Oh yeah, I also mentioned about holding right during the glitch. Um, a lot of players like Ross, they like to hold right during the glitch. And personally, I don't do that. I think it's just a lot easier if you don't. Um, I think all the consistency myths... Well, I think they're all myths. Basically, I think it doesn't matter, it's just all luck. It might be consistent for some people, but I will mention that it is okay to, uh, if you have a bad alignment set, let's say you're, you're aligned like this, for example, this is obviously probably not going to get it. So when you shroom a wheelie, you might want to tap right a little bit while you're in your shroom boost. Same, same goes for if you're aiming a little bit too far out left. Like let's say you're aiming like about here, you're probably not going to make it. So you, when you shroom wheelie, you're going to tilt left during your shroom boost. Now, now that I'm on this point of uh, alignment, I'll also talk about um, no lap counts because they're very infuriating and I'll talk about um, the Lamex as well. There's no concrete alignment for this. Basically you just have to sort of eyeball it. So I can just sort of give an example I guess. I'll just pretend that I'm doing a proper attempt. So go go go, yes. This is roughly the alignment. Okay that might not land back. It might barely land back, it might not. Um, you want to have a little bit more left to right. There's no visual cue for it, as far as I know, it's just sort of an eyeball. However, there is a ghost that I will leave in the description, it's a ghost that Logan created and it's Jack's wood record, and it's a good alignment. Now, this is about the alignment you want to have. If you have a little bit of alignment like, uh, like this, you're probably going to need an alert count. I've got a video of uh, an alert count that I can demo. This is too easy, this is a fail of me. Um, it's a little bit choppy, sorry for the choppy frame rate. But, um, you see what I do? This is made two years ago, so this is a very bad glitch, obviously. Uh, you can see I'm just, if you just want to have another look at, it, uh, at this, I'm aligned a little bit to right to left, and that will no lap count. You can even see with the ghost alignment, uh, Noah's aligned further to the left, and, yeah, this is what a no lap count looks like. I land back by quite a lot. I thought it was no lap count at first, but that was me two years ago. It looks very, very close, I'll say that. Because there are other world records like Takemi's run where he gets a lot of airtime. He lands back by a lot, but he still gets a lap count. But that's because he had a good alignment. So, we'll just switch back over to my gameplay. Uh, yeah, this is pretty much the angle that I had in that video. Uh, no lap counts are very infuriating. I would not risk running, getting a no lap count unless you're going for a 2 out of 3 or a, um, a really good 1 out of 3 time. This is the alignment you want, this is the bread and butter, this is pretty much picture perfect alignment. I guess you can sort of use this uh, little arc at the top left, you see next to the pole, like where the pole starts going vertical, the dent, like where the water starts and where the uh, outline of the course is. You can sort of use that as a visual cue I guess, but I find that pretty complicated. I just eyeball it. 
It's probably why I get so many no lap counts, but it is what it is. You can't do much about that. So yeah, this is about the alignment you want to have. Something like this, I'll just angle a little bit further out. Something like this, it very likely won't land back, but what it will do is give you a uh, no land back from there onwards. You can use the tips that I mentioned earlier to so get a no land back. Let go and instantly start breaking, and you'll land perfectly on the checkpoint every time. Perfectly on the checkpoint, and SMT your way to getting a lap count. Now, I will mention that there is a bit of a pace lock on lap 2. This is for uh, after you get the first glitch, so I'll just change scenes again. This is, uh, where is it? This one. Uh, I will mention this is a bit of a slow pace, obviously. 13.8 lap 1 is not really what you want to be aiming for. But it is this second penguin out of the cave. You want to just take a, just make a mental note of it. Uh, the lap that you want to roughly get to, uh... Like basically where it gets pace locked at is around 12.6 and underneath if you drive up too well 12.6 lap one and underneath this second penguin will be a nuisance to you basically obviously this is a slow pace but you saw the penguin waddling into the wall on a faster pace you can very very like barely squeeze inside the penguin that's why on fast pace i go around the penguin and so do most of the other players but uh, yeah, if you get anything above a 12.7 lap, even if you drive lap too good, you should you should still be fine from the penguin. You should have a comfortable amount of room, but just be wary. You can lose a lot of runs to that little penguin. And then besides that, there's no other paces. I do also want to touch base on doing glitches on lap one or lap two. Uh, a lot of people ask me why do you do it lap one, lap three? Uh, simply because of nerves. Nerves play a very big part when you're on a like very good pace. Especially, imagine you made two glitches and you're one second ahead of the world record into lap three and you still have to drive no glitch. That would be very nerve-wracking. Well, you might know the paces, but it probably won't work out for you. You will drive very poorly, probably, unless you just no balls it. But that is very risky when you spend like a year trying to get a two out of three. But that's that. Uh, next, let me say what's next, what's next. Um... I think I already mentioned the Spear vs. Magi. I might have mentioned this at the start of the video, but I'll just reiterate it. Um, neither is more easy to get the clip. The clip is 100% random. But the Spear is easier to land back if you have a slightly... I'll just change back scenes. I already, I already on my RSL scene. Um, if you have an alignment like... Uh, like okay, that's a little bit too absurd, maybe something like this yeah this is a good example where it won't land back with magic but it will land back with spear so if you just want to get a land back time spear might be the way for you but also with spear i will i'll also show the spear technique for it so it's the same fuck you kong's head with the bottom right uh corner of the rectangle and this time you want to back up all the way to around here so about the middle of the reflection and then you just trim a willy and it's just because i don't know if the spear is a lot different to the magic cruiser in a lot of ways that's why you have to back up so much, and you'll still get the same micro bounces. So about about here, that'll do you good. You can get it to work from back here, but that's your like messing with different wheelie and trip times. You don't want to do that. This is just consistent middle of the banner. I think I've covered all the main points. Let me see. Do I have anything else that I wrote down? Um. Oh yeah, the no stop glitch. The no stop glitch. This is actually a pretty recent. Uh, Zoran was the first one to hit it, but I also hit two um, pretty recently, two months ago. This is what it looks like, and I'll show you how to do it as well. So, in this clip, uh, I, I usually go for it if I get a full startup boost on accident, because, I don't know, I just have a better rhythm and it's a good alignment for it. Basically, you stop accelerating, so you don't slam on the brakes immediately. You just stop accelerating around here, and so you're not you're not holding me. You don't hold B for any of this, you just let go of A. And you really enter at the exact same time. And you get a pretty low clip. You have to barely land back like that. Now the reason this wasn't a like a twelve point one or something is because uh, I used my second trim very very late, and you will see how far forward I go past the checkpoint. I go way way past. So yeah, that's a shame, but at least I made it. Um, what else do I have to chat about this? Let's have a look. Um, this clip is the exact same difficulty as any other high clip on um. Like the, the regular glitch, this is uh same difficulty. So I mean you might want to go for it if you like if you get a full startup boost, but it's up to you. 
whatever floats your boat. Now, let's see, do I have anything else to talk about? I wrote down all of this. Um, I don't think there is. Yeah, no, I don't think there is. I'll just reiterate everything real quick. So, um, in general, key points. So there's key points to take away, and that if you're gonna take out anything with this video, take out this. First checkpoint, pass it from here, all the way out to the ocean, this crack, pass it. Uh, bottom finish line pole, the bottom right rectangle, middle toe that's head with it, back up until the reflection of the finish line banner and the pole meet. Streaming with it at the exact same time. I also like to uh, tail dive before I get the clip because it helps me with, uh, it just helps because you take advantage of perhaps your reaction time not being as keen as you want and use a second shroom, land back and for land back times where you fall from the water on lap 1 or lap 3 you just instantly let go of A and then hold B and you'll land perfectly on the checkpoint every single time and it will lap down and then finally to reiterate for the final one I'll try to do it live I haven't done this in a very long time but I'll try to do it Oh yeah, I need to get back my timing. I don't even know how I felt that. Uh, but what, what did I just say right there, where I sort of bailed out of it? That is actually almost faster than just regularly doing the turnaround. Okay, yeah, I'm so lost at this. Let me just try one more time. This is just, this is just shows why it's pretty risky to go for. Okay, no, that was bad. That was bad. I have to release my MC later. Um, yeah. I didn't do enough pops there. But sort of bailing out like that actually isn't that slow, believe it or not. So you can still go for it and do that, but that's only if you're comfortable with it. Like right now, I haven't practiced this in a couple months, that's why I'm not very good at it. But you want to develop a rhythm for that. And I think that would do it. If you have any questions, tell me in the comment section and I will 100% answer. Uh, yeah, hopefully this helped. I can do a follow-up video if I didn't cover something important. But besides that, that will do for today. Have a good day, everyone.